Welcome to your 10-day sugar break. I'm so excited for you and to be able to help you on this journey. My name is Karen Calabrese, and I'm not an authority, I'm not a scientist, and I'm not a doctor, that's for sure. But what I have done is spent the last 50 years in my own self-transformation. Uh, quick little note, I came to this because all the women in my family died overweight and young, and I knew I needed to do something different. So I've been on a journey for quite a while. I've been a vegan for 50 years, I've been a raw foodist, I've been uh, plant-based, I've done the whole gamut. And what I wanna share with you is, you don't have to be a vegan, a vegetarian, or a raw foodist, or you can be paleo, keto, carnivore, it doesn't matter to benefit from this 10-day break that I would love to see you take this journey on. You see, most people don't even realize the amount of sugar they're taking in on a consistent basis. Even if you're not sitting down eating a donut, you know, it's in everything. It's in your soups, it's in your ice, it's in your bread, it's in everything you're eating. So you're consistently getting sugar, sugar, sugar in your system. And then the body builds up this tolerance and you need more and more. And those of us that made changes along the way, we started doing honey. And then we started doing agave. And then we started doing all the different substitutes there are. But here's what I found over the years, folks, is that when I gave up all sugar, not forever, I'm not asking you to do it forever, but for just short periods of time, it was like my body readjusted and it learned a new message in a different direction it wanted to go in. So this is what I'm offering you to find out for yourself because make your body your laboratory. I want to remind you there's no right or wrong or good or bad or yes or no or even failure in this process unless you just close the box and put it away. And I still wouldn't call that a failure because you bought it and you started it. Everybody has a process. So honor your process, enjoy your process, and you're going to see results beyond your wildest dreams. I promise you that, that I can tell you. You're going to see results beyond your wildest dreams. When I went from being a carnivore to a vegetarian, I thought, oh my goodness, look how wonderful I feel. And then I went from being a vegetarian to a vegan, same thing. Then I went from vegan to plant-based, and wow. And then I went to raw, oh my God, I thought I could walk on water, right? But through all of that, I was still doing even the holistic, even the good kind of sugars for you. So then I decided one day to give up everything. And I did it for six months. And all I can tell you is I couldn't believe the leap of change that my body, my mind, my soul, my spirit, it just totally changed. So I know I'm going to make some of the fruit people out there angry. I know I'm going to make a lot of people angry when you start to discuss it with other people, which is why I suggest kind of keep it to yourself unless you brought somebody along the journey with you because you don't need naysayers pulling you away and giving you other modifications or thoughts. You need to work on yourself for you and see what you get out of it. See how it works for you. Don't even believe me. Make your body your own laboratory and see how it works for you. I know Oh, fruit, 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 and I love fruit too, I'm here to tell you. But what even our fruitarian brothers and sisters don't understand that when man was created, the fruit didn't have the amount of sugars in it that we are taking in on a, a regular basis. And on top of that, you needed all that sugar to roam the planet and run away from the mastodons and things, right? You didn't need all that fruit sugar to sit behind your computer put through and drive from place to place. So all I'm saying is, you don't have to believe me. I'm glad you're here to give it a try. Just try for 10 short days. You got 350 something days to do all the sugar or honey or syrup, or syrup, maple syrup that you want. But try 10 days and see for yourself what your body will tell you, how it's looking, feeling, and operating 100% without any extra sweeteners. Now we do have one little thing. I'm going to allow monk fruit and stevia. I'm saying those are legal during these times. But other than that, I'm talking about fruit. I'm talking about maple syrup. I'm talking about honey. I'm talking about every sugar out there sweetener except those two. So let's give it a try. Let's go on this journey. I would love to hear back from you how this is working for you, what your results were. And let's see where we can take this. So remember, if you don't take care of your body, the most magnificent machine you'll ever be given, where are you going to live?